Hello to all creators and players. I am the producer, Owen. In this session, I'll specifically introduce the cutscene feature of the horror game template. To begin with, I've created a short cutscene segment that extensively utilizes all the capabilities of this feature. Let me first show you what this cutscene looks like. Then, I'll guide you step by step on how to create it. For this demonstration, I'm using the forest cabin scene directly from the demo template and made a few modifications by adding a television. This is the classic scene of Sadako crawling out of the TV in a horror movie. Currently, it's a bit rudimentary. All animations might require fine-tuning, including adjustments to sound and atmosphere when making a game. I'm demonstrating the functionalities quickly for you, and you might need to refine them according to your game. Now, let's delve into how to make the character interact with the scene and the TV. For this demonstration, I'm using the four tracks of our cutscene. The first one is the animation track, which controls the movement, rotation, scaling, and animation addition to humanoid models. Let's create an empty cutscene object and add an animation track. Drag it onto the track, referencing the ghost. Click on Add Animation for this segment in the parameter panel on the right. Choose a crawling animation, and let's extend the segment a bit. You may notice that the character stops moving at this point. This means that when the segment reaches the follow clip, it will pause. If you want the animation to play for a longer duration, you can choose Loop here. For some special animations, using ping pong may create peculiar effects. In this case, we only need Loop. Currently, the female ghost cannot move forward. For NPCs requiring displacement, you can add another animation track separately to control its displacement, rotation, and scaling. Next, drag it onto the second track. Then, click Record. This small point indicates that the track has recorded its state and position at this moment. You can adjust the initial position of the NPC at any time, and this frame will automatically update the data. Now we can drag it over here directly or input the coordinates precisely on the right side. Let's see the overall effect. Now, the female ghost is crawling forward. If you're interested, you can adjust other parameters like speed for crawling speed. This is the purpose of the animation track. If you want the female ghost not to appear initially and only appear when the player reaches a certain point, you can add an activation track. This is an activation track that can control whether the referenced object is disabled or enabled. Now drag it in. We're in preview mode, and changing these values won't take effect. Let's turn off preview first, and then start. Disable it first, then open preview. Click the plus sign. Now, on the right side, it's active, indicating the ghost will appear when it reaches this point. If you want the ghost to disappear suddenly for a moment, you can add another clip and place it at the time you want it to disappear. Change the right side to inactive, then add another one. At the fourth second, make it appear again. Finally, after playing, if you want it to disappear, just set it to inactive as before. But if you want the final frame to be retained, hoping that all objects controlled, besides the female ghost, maintain the state of the last frame, after clicking active at the end, you need to do one more thing. Click on the cutscene object on the right side's parameter panel. Choose hold under ending state. This controls the state of all objects in the scene after the entire cutscene plays. If it's set to loop, the animation will keep looping. If you choose None, the animation will return to the starting point after it completes. The third track is the simplest track, which is to add sound to this animation. After selecting, corresponding parameters will appear on the right side, and you can choose what you want here or find it in the Asset Library. If you're not satisfied with the available options, you can also upload the desired audio by clicking Upload here. You can also blend different sounds adjusting the pitch to create a sudden high or low sound for an eerie feeling. Now, there are still relatively few tracks. If you're working on something more complex, you can write a note for each track on the right side. This way, you can clearly distinguish what each track is for. Finally, the most frequently used jump scare camera track in horror games. Here, you need to add a camera clip first. Currently, the game only supports one main camera. This virtual camera concept represents a camera position. 
When the animation reaches this point, this camera position becomes effective and the main camera will showcase from this position. First, click on the clip. Choose the player's perspective in the camera object, which is our main camera. Then, you need to move the camera to another position. Here, you need to add a clip and blend it. Click on this clip, start setting its position. Now, aim it at the TV. Clicking on FOV can create a zoom effect. Let's try the effect of this camera. Now, the camera is slowly approaching the front of the TV. If you want a direct cut in the camera, you can attach it directly without blending. If you want the camera to follow the movement of the female ghost, look at the panel on the right. There's a follow and a look at. Follow will move with the object you selected. Look at will keep looking at the center of the selected object. Let's try follow. Click, enable, then select the object you want to follow. Adjust its offset a bit further. Now, the female ghost is crawling and the camera is moving with it. We can add another look at. So the female ghost is in a more central position. Please note that after selecting follow and look at, the position and rotation of this camera are essentially locked. You can choose different camera movement modes based on the actual effect you want. So that basically covers the camera track. Looking forward to everyone using the cutscene feature of the Yaha Horror Game template to create more movie-grade thrilling scenes.